we will enable the camera's live view and place our object in front of our camera. We will next pre-crop our subject then hit snap. Within seconds that image is uploaded to the program for viewing. After capture, let us re-enable our live view. Now, what we will do is create an image overlay. We can do so by clicking on the image overlay button then selecting create. As you will see, when I reach my hand in to remove the object, it will leave a ghost image that we can then save and retain inside the program for using at a later time. Now, as it has been saved, let's remove this overlay and create some additional images at different angles. Another great thing about this software is that once we've set our crop markers, they will be retained and can even be saved inside the program so that the exact same frame can be used for every shot. After we capture a second angle of our subject, we will create and save another image overlay. We will continue this process for one more angle, assuming on our website we show three different viewing angles for each product. During this process, you can see how fast and efficient Shutterstream is for shooting product images in studio. Now that we have shot our images and created an overlay for each of our standard shooting angles, we will move on to shooting our next product. We will enable the live view and load our previously saved overlay. When placing the object, we will look at the monitor as a reference to ensure the object is positioned in a similar location. We can then continue to shoot the additional angles with the same workflow, load image overlay, position product, snap. The image overlay tool provides a foolproof way to ensure imaging consistencies from product to product. It is optimal for e-commerce businesses who require consistent product angles every time. Should a user wish to adjust the opacity of the overlay, they can do so in the options area. 